Hello and welcome to episode 294. We have an updated version of the Mario coin block and this version is much better thanks to a couple of suggestions from uh, Hernan Gonzalez. Um, it's only going to work if the player is jumping now and instead of having to be so accurate being right in the middle of the block we can hit the block anywhere because as you pointed out DX, DY and DZ check for any part of the hitbox. They don't execute at your feet like we were doing before. So this is much better. And I've added some um, tools so you can create it easier. Last time, if you wanted loads of them, you would have to hard code in all these values. Pain in the butt. Now we don't. And last time we were counting up and when its number hit a limit, uh, the block died, which meant all blocks had the same limit. Now we're counting down. So you can give blocks different limits. So you can have a block, like maybe diamond only works two times, gold works five times, emerald works six times, who knows, whatever you like. Uh, but a tool's so much easier. We want a block here. Okay, I want one there. There it is. Nice. I want one over here as well. And there's one there. Actually, oh, they're not in line. So I'll just get rid of that one. And I'll put this one here. There we go. That's what I actually wanted. And we can stand... As long as we hit the block, let's see if we miss. Nothing. Go a little bit underneath it. Cool. There we go. It stopped working. That's all right. I'll go to the other one. I'll use this one instead. Oh, that's so much nicer. Okay, let's get back into the view. Let's use our little remove coin block tool. Gone, gone. Job done. See how much quicker that is. We can run around the map. Where's one? There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Look at that. It's so quick. We don't have to hard code any coordinates. We can literally just click and create and remove. Lovely. Okay, much better system. Let's make it now. Okay, first thing we're going to need is a couple of objectives. One to track if the player has jumped and one to check the lifetime of the block. So we'll put them in a setup. Scoreboard, objectives, add, has jumped and it's of type custom jump. I want and shift middle mouse, we'll just copy that chain. And this one is going to be lifetime dummy. Done. Boink and press that. Okay, now let's uh, let's do the remove the coin block first. Why not? Remove. Are done. First thing I'm going to do is execute at any entity tag equals coin block dot marker run set block barrier getting a bit excited set block at at the coin block marker to a barrier replace you don't need replace I think I say that most times now okay so that's that and we'll kill anything We'll kill all entities that have the tag coin block. Okay, that'll make more sense in a minute because now we're going to create the coin. So let's create the coin here and let's get a place. I'm going to create it in that block there. Fill, tap, tap, tab. Let's get a copy of that. Boink, boink, boink. Oops, give me that sign. This will be create. Right, okay. First thing we're going to do is summon a marker at those coordinates. Now we're going to give it some tags. We're going to give it two tags. <clears throat> First tag will be coin block dot marker. And it'll also be part of the coin block. Okay, so this is the marker we're going to be executing this command at. 
So we've got a marker. Now let's make a barrier block. Set block at those coordinates. Barrier. Replace. You don't need to replace. I'm going to have to stop saying it or stop typing replace. It is the default. Um, now we want to summon a block display. Summon block display at those coordinates and let's give it a load of information. First tags, it is also going to be coin block and we need a block state. What does it look like? Block state and block state needs a name. Minecraft gold block or any block you like. Okay, and now we want the transformation information. Transformation. And in there we have the usual left rotation, right rotation, translation, and scale. Okay, scale one F, one F, one F. So it's going to be one block wide, one block high, and one block wide on the Z. Translation, you do want to move it a little bit because remember that when you've ever summoned the block display, it's always sort of centered on the corner of the block. So we do have to move it a little bit. So we'll do minus 0 0.5 to bring it into the middle on the X, zero F on the Y, and minus 0 0.5 bring it into the middle of the Z and we're not doing any rotation so these will be the defaults and that is the defaults 0f 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 1f and we're not doing any rotation on the left either okay so that's that summoned in in fact let's give it some brightness as well why not uh, let's make it so it's always bright so even if it's in a dark room you'll be able to see it sort of lit up. Let's give it sky 15 and block 15. Okay, there we go. Are done. And now we want to give it its lifetime. How many times can it be used? So this is one of the bits that's different to the last one. Instead of counting up to five, which sort of hard coded five as the as the value, we're going to count down from five this time. So instead of setting its score to zero, we'll set its score to five. That way we can have another block we might have a score of 15, another block with 20, one with seven, and they all count down rather than counting up. To, so we will execute positioned. Uh oh, I forgot the coordinates because we've pasted over them. Done. That's all right. We can grab them from here. There they are. Copy. Actually positioned at the coordinates as any entity type will equal block display. Yep. Tag will equal coin block. Yep. We'll limit it to one and the sort will be nearest. And we will run scoreboard players set at that block we'll set its lifetime to however many you want i'm going to do five okay done let's summon this thing where were we doing it here just there wasn't it okay right. perfect oh okay right now we want to offset it slightly because this is what i find gets the booping working so we've got the kill let's test the kill that looks good Oh, we've still got the barrier block. Mm, interesting. Why have we still got the barrier block? Set block at coin block marker. Oh, we did have a block there. We'll test that in a minute. We'll fix that in a minute. Let's first of all go to our boink. Let's go to this and change what we need to get this thing summoning up in the air a little bit. And it'll be its translation. We're going to translate it one up in the air. A one, like a so. That seems good. Okay, and while we're in here, we'll just check its tag. 
tag equals coin block, coin underline block, yeah, done, done, and we'll just check coin block marker coin underline block. That seems okay, so let's create it. It's a little bit high, yes, it should be sitting on top of that because we're going to initialize it. So let's do the initialization, put that here. In it. Okay, so for the initialization, we basically want to copy most of this. Uh, let's have a look. We want to, let's copy this transformation information. Let's copy all of that. Shift end copy done. Let's get ourselves a clipboard and paste that in. Right. So we have right at the beginning, we're going to need a curly bracket. Transformation open. Yes. Yeah. Our translation is what we're going to want to change. We want to change that to zero. We'll keep going. Scale same, brightness same, block is the same. Um, but we're also going to want to put after block a start interpolation. I'm going to put minus one and an interpolation duration, which I'll set to four. Now we'll copy all of that. Wink. Let's go into the init. Right. I'm going to data merge into an entity and any entity whose type equals block display. The app whose tag equals coin block and we're data merging so we have to limit it limit equals one what do we want to put in there boink the stuff from my clipboard done okay that looks good now let's check our removal it's removing but it's not removing the barrier but let's check the position of that barrier feel 37, 58, 12. Why are we not removing the barrier? Execute at tag coin block marker run set block barrier replace. <laughs> because we're setting a barrier, we're putting another barrier there. Well, that's just a silly mistake, isn't it? We want to put air. There we go. I bet you knew that and you were you were just thinking, oh, what's he doing? Okay, there it is. Let's initialize it. Okay, it's initialized. Let's remove it. <clears throat> and it's gone. Cool. Okay, right. Now, let's make a controller and get it working. And then we'll work on the spawn eggs so we don't have to do all of this rubbish to set it up. So, let's get a controller. Now, our controller is much better this time. We're not doing any NBT checking. And the player has to be jumping. It's much more robust. So thank you, Hernan Gonzalez, for this uh, controller. This is the controller for booping it. The boop controller. Right. So we've got our marker. We're going to execute at any entity. <clears throat> Type equals marker. Tag equals coin block dot marker. Positioned. Hello, what don't you like? <clears throat> Type equals marker, tag equals coin block. Maybe it's not happy because I haven't filled in the. Hello. What have I done wrong there that it's not liking? Execute at type equals any entity type equals marker. Yeah. Tag equals coin block marker. Yeah. Positioned. Well, positioned should be spelt right. <laughs> that would help. There we go. Positioned. Okay, we need to put some alignment in here. To minus 0 0.5. Minus. 
0.5, that's to bring it to the center of the block. Okay, that seems all right. As any player whose scores equals has jumped equals one or higher, so they must have jumped, and their dx equals zero, their dy equals oh just a, just down a little bit beneath the block so because uh, as Hernan Gonzalez tells me dx dy dz will actually check any part of the hitbox so we don't need to look for their feet so we'll just do minus 0 0.1 and dz equals zero so they have to be right underneath that block and their head just has to be just just booping up near it that should work we can always change those numbers later if we have to. Run tag any entity. So we're currently executing at the marker. So we can uh, use we can use nearest sort. So type equals block display tag equals coin block limit equals one sort equals nearest it's not happy with me again we'll fix it in a minute scores equals lifetime equals one or higher so obviously if it's, if it's lifetime is down to zero we're not going to do anything add booped okay now let's find out what what stupid mistake i've run here run tag all players. Okay, we're going for a player, and players obviously can't be a player and a block display. All entities type equals block display. Coin block, limit one, sort nearest, has to be alive, add booped. Now, a good thing about this, if it's not alive, we're only checking a score. So if it's not alive, we're not going to do most of the other commands that are coming up. So this is cool. Oh, done. So we've stood underneath it, we've banged our head on it, and we've added the tag boop to it. Now let's do some stuff. First thing we want to do is we want it to sort of bounce up in the air again. So we're going to make this conditional. Let's go to our init. And we'll just have a look at this init. Let's, I think we'll copy this entire init. Uh, control copy, we'll copy all of that and put it in here. Do we need to change anything in here? Um, let's have a look at this translation. I think this is all. Let's have a look. Control uh, data merge block display. So we're not actually targeting this block yet. We're targeting any block and just picking one at random. So we're going to have to make sure it targets that block. Transformation left rotation stays the same. Right left rotation will stay the same because we don't care about that. Translation, scale, brightness. Okay, that looks all right. Let's go to the beginning and execute at uh, execute at any entity type equals oh sorry we don't need to do any of that do we look we can just put it here tag equals coin block in fact we can remove coin block we could just say tag equals boot okay done let's turn it on and see what we get Let's place it. Let's initialize it. Let's turn that on. Will we even get one bounce? We got the bounce. It's probably broken now though. Yeah, it's broken now. Okay, so we got the bounce out of it. That's cool. That shows that we've, we're doing all right. And we're definitely targeting by booped. Cool, it's only gonna be the one we're banging on head on that has the tag booped. So that's all good. Now let's do all the sounds and things. So again, conditional, uh, we will execute at 
any entity type equals block display oh dear block display tag equals booped run I'm gonna copy that control copy and okay let's play sound play sound what did we use last time I think we used uh, uh, experience or entity dot experience orb dot pick up yeah play it on the master channel for all players um at those oh, oopsies at those coordinates uh normal volume really low pitch let's go right down and that's the minimum volume conditional oops conditional there we go so we've got a sound we tag it with boop we make it bounce we play the sound uh, now let's summon the item execute run summon summon an item at those coordinates and we want the item and it's going to have an id little i i think for this id sometimes it's little sometimes it's big and it will be a gold block or any item you prefer oh we do need a count though count of 1b and we want to give it a bit of motion um what did we put something like 0.75 last time it's a double and a little bit on the up and we had nothing on the z okay so play sound summon item i think then we did a particle probably electric spark so run particle electric spark and i think we probably want to lift that up a little bit done in fact saying that we'll probably want to summon this here we go let's lift that up a bit as well just so it's not stuck inside the block okay electric spark uh quite small 0.1 0.1 0.1 uh do we want any speed i think we just want a little bit of speed 0.4 and a count of 20. we're not going to force it done so we've played the sound, we summoned the item, we've got the electric spark, we've booped it. Um, lifetime, we need to add to its lifetime. So school board, players, remove from any entity whose type equals block display, tag equals coin block, in fact, we don't need tag equals or coin block. We we'll just put just tag equals booped. That's fine. Lifetime one. We've taken one off its life. Done. Now we'll do a check to see if it's died. Let's do data merge with an entity. That's any entity. Type equals block display. Yeah. Tag equals booped scores equals lifetime equals if i think we could just say zero for that and we'll find out what that problem is in a minute i'd imagine since we're data merging the problem is we need to limit it to one yeah what are we going to merge in i'm going to change its block state block state has a name what do i want to change its block state to minecraft stone or anything you prefer okay done that now let's reset the player's score we'll <clears throat> this one will be unconditional we're always going to reset the player's score no matter what happens reset for all players has jumped done and we better remove that booped as well so let's tag any entity has the tag booped 
remove boobs. Done. Okay. Fingers crossed. Let's press the initialize. Let's go F5. Now, we've got much better... Look at that. We can go right on the edge. As long as we're hitting the block, it reacts. It's much nicer. The last one, we had to be right in the middle. Go right there. And then if we stood on a slab, it'd go... Bling, 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 bling. This is much better. We have to land so we can jump again because we've got the uh, has jumped score. And because we're using those DX selectors, it's so much neater, so much more robust. Okay, so that works as it is. But what a pain in the bottom to set up. You're going to have to do all those coordinates. Every single place you want one, you're going to have to go, oh, change that coordinate, change that coordinate. But we don't want that. Let's make it super easy to set these things up. So we'll have that, 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 and we'll give ourselves some spawn eggs. Let's create some tools. Map making tools, very useful. Uh, the player's never going to use them, but if you wanted to place a hundred of those things, as it stands now, it's going to take you a long time. We're just going to invest a few minutes to make these tools and it'll be so much quicker for us to set up the rest of the map then. Uh, so this will be um, tool for placement. Okay, so let's say give tool for placement. Done. And this will be give tool removal. Done. Okay, placement. Uh, I think of a green egg, green egg. What do I normally use? The slime, I believe. So, slime, spawn, egg. And let's get, yeah, let's give it a display name. Display, in display, we will need name, in name. Actually, name is two apostrophes. Inside the apostrophes is where we have the name, text. Uh, what do, I suppose we're placing a coin block. Yep, okay, all looks good. And then we're gonna want to change the entity tag. Entity tag, we need an ID, Minecraft, marker it's going to summon a marker and that marker is going to have some tags and it's going to have the tag uh coin block i know coin block dot place that makes sense to me i done and we actually we might as well just copy that entire command copy and paste it into here and we'll change it so this is going to be coin block remove Still going to be a marker though. Place coin block. Let's remove that. Remove coin block. And let's pick a red egg. I think I usually use something like a strider or something. Strider. Done. Doink, doink. That's a place the coin block. Remove coin block. Okay, that looks all right. Now let's set up some controllers for those. Let's do the easy one first. Let's do the remove one. Controller, remove, remove egg. I'll need one of those. Pop it on there. Okay, I think we probably get away with doing this with just three commands. So we throw down the egg and it's going to create the marker. So we will execute at any entity tag equals coin block dot remove now this is going to remove the nearest coin block so i think we'll do a little bit of a check actually and check if it is actually landing on a barrier if block underneath the new marker that's just appeared if it is a barrier otherwise what might happen is you might just press the egg by accident and it might delete a, the nearest um, coin block from your map you won't know where it is. At least this way it has to be done on a barrier. A um, little bit safer. At entity 
um, tag equals coin block dot marker we'll limit it to one the sort will be the nearest and we'll get rid of the display we'll get rid of the barrier block i suppose let's do that first run set block at that marker air done so we drop it on top of the coin block it's now removed the barrier now we just have to kill the marker and kill the display block and they're both tagged with the tag coin block so we can go in here we can make this conditional we will execute at any entity whose tag equals coin block dot remove run kill any entity whose tag equals coin block limit equals two because we've got the marker and the display block sort equals nearest okay a done and then just so it's not running forever let's kill the marker that we created with the egg tag equals coin block dot remove done okay let's turn that on let's summon create initialize it now there's nothing should happen if we do it down here because we're not doing it on a barrier this has a barrier inside it so if we click on the top oh okay now we can get rid of it nice and easily right next let's do the slightly longer one get one of them get one of them this will be the controller to place it's, it'll be the place egg we're not placing an egg it is the place egg and basically i'll just turn it off for now we're going to be doing this so can we actually copy some of that stuff i reckon we can we're going to be doing execute at any entity tag equals coin block place run okay do you know what i'm gonna copy that copy i'm gonna just put myself down a little uh put myself down a little clipboard clipboard block there we go is it in there yes okay so execute at coin block place let's go here that's the controller let's go here generate oh i pointed at that said when i said we're going to do that we're not we're doing this let's copy all of that copy and let's put it in here run okay right first thing we want to do though is we want to get rid of those hard-coded coordinates because we're going to we're summoning it at the marker everything else though pretty sure that's going to stay the same okay let's get the next bit i'll have uh, my clipboard bit right execute run what we're we going to do we're going to set block back i might as well just type this one set block at those coordinates barrier i'm not even going to put replace i'm going to leave replace off i done uh the next block the next bit is the block display in that case we can just copy that in done now let's go and copy this one this one's a bit longer isn't it home okay let's just copy all of that da, 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 da. let's pop it in here execute run boink back to the beginning i think the only thing we want to change is these hard-coded coordinates are now relative to our marker so that should be all right i done put another one go to my clipboard done okay what do we want to do what we want to do now is give it a score ah we might have to do something a little bit different here let's have a look we'll copy that command and just slap it on the end and see what we've got so execute at coin dot place paste that in run run execute 
Right. If you ever, ever have run execute, leave it if you want, but it's not actually doing anything. So I reckon we're going to get rid of run execute. We also don't need to be positioned. We don't want hard coded. And there's no point saying positioned there because we're already there. So we can get rid of that bit. And type block display, tag coin, limit one, sort nearest, run scoreboard players at lifetime five. That seems okay. Done. Okay, what's going to come next? Um, we want to do the init. Now we can't do it in the same tick. So we can't put it on the end. I'm pretty sure we can't just put it on the end. It's not going to work. We could put a little, let's put a delay on it. That's not a problem. We can do that. Let's execute eventity add e uh, tag equals coin block dot place so if that entity exists in the world which it does because we've just created it then we will run set block now you notice we're not executing at that entity we're still executing at this command block I'm not going to type replace again. I'm just going to replace. What I'm going to do is place a redstone block there. But I don't want it to stay there forever. I want it to go away straight away. So that is going to power this one. Oh, I typed replace that time. So it's going to put redstone there. Instantly turn off. But before it turns off, it will run this. Which will be... I think actually we can have our clipboard bit again now. Let's get ex yeah, let's take this. Clipboard, boink, pop that in there. Execute at our placement. Run. I think we'll just go and get the init block. And we'll copy all of that. Home, copy, done. Let's have a look here in you go let's just paste go to the beginning and see what's happened run data merge type block display tag coin limit one oh, oh. sort equals nearest okay that should be all right so now we're not just targeting any odd random one so this this one here who knows what one that's going to target we're just saying it has to be block display tag coin block and if we've got more than one coin block who knows which is going to target so this is good for our testing this one is actually going to target the one that is at the marker that we've just created so that's fine so we've set its lifetime um Anything left to do? Yeah, we better kill that marker. I think that's everything. Let's kill that marker, otherwise it's going to go crazy. Tag equals coin block dot place. They're done. Okay. Right. Now, the testing time. Let's... So we've got two of them. I want to place one there. That looked good. That looked good. Came right down. Can we donk it? Let's get underneath. One, two, I can move around. Oh, it's run out of life. Okay. Let's get back into normal view. Can I get rid of it with this? Boink. Oh, it's good. So now we can just get around the map just going oh I want one here I want one here and I want one here actually that one's in the wrong place let's get rid of that one let's put it here instead oh it's much nicer let's do a check to make sure they all work okay yeah I do have to do a little little pillars to put them on you know it's a small price to play it's still a thousand times better than having to do this and hard coding all the coordinates each time. Donk, 
Doink, doink. And I'll tell you what we could do. Look. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you're working. Oh, look, it's beautiful. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Now, there'll be nothing to stop you, if you wanted, in the placement. You could pop into the placement, and instead of running here, instead of instead of summoning it at the marker, because the marker, when we throw the marker on the floor, boink, the marker lands down there. The marker is landing there. There's nothing to stop us changing all these relative coordinates. Okay, experimenting when we shouldn't. Run summon marker, um, go up. What do we want? Two blocks? Two blocks higher? Two blocks above the marker? Okay, let's try that. And then we should go to the next one. Two blocks up. Go to the next one. Uh, home. Somewhere should be some relative coordinates. Two blocks up. Yeah. Next one. Let's execute at coin block place. Oh, okay. We could do, we could do a position here. So here, positioned two blocks up. It would probably still work anyway because the one that's two blocks up in the air would probably be the closest. But let's just make it a little bit tighter. Are done. Now what's this one? Set block. Oh, no, we don't need that one because that's setting that block. We don't want that up in the air. Okay. Home. Execute at coin block. Okay, let's move this one up in the air as well just to make it a little bit tighter. Two. Okay, well... I wasn't planning on doing that, but let's see if now what we can just do, stop ourselves having to build those extra blocks. Can we just click on the floor? Oh, it looks better. Oh, it's good. Oh, I'm flying. I'm in creative. Ooh, now here's a problem. <laughs> ah, look, there's a problem. So let's get rid of this. What is happening? What is happening? Let's place one down. Let's place one down. So we're booping. We're still booping. And oh, we're clearly, we're targeting the nearest one. Okay. We better stop that. Let's go on to our controller. And we can probably stop that just in the first command. I suppose let's if we stop if we don't add the tag booped none of the rest is going to happen so let's see if we can stop it here in this command execute at type marker tag coin marker so yeah position normal just to center it on the block at any player whose scores had jumped dx should we pop a distance in there as well Okay, that seems good. They're next to the marker. Run, tag, any entity. Here we go. Now, this is our problem. We're tagging any entity, and it just has to be the nearest one. I reckon we could put a distance in there. Let's just pop a distance in there. Distance equals uh, less than less than one. Done. Now, the nice thing, we've made all these tools for ourselves. We don't have to go through all the process of making all these things again. We can just stick them down. Look at that, nice and quick. One, two, three, four, five. Bong, problem fixed. It's saying you don't have boop, but there's no one else close enough to have it. Do we need to adjust the uh, distance? What if we got them right next to each other? Ooh. Ooh, I bet we could get close, though. We, we stood here. Yeah. I think that's acceptable. And you could always lower the number. Let's get rid of those. Handy tools. Job done. Okay, that is a much better version of the Mario coin block. So thank you again to Hernan Gonzalez for, you know, a couple of um, little um, command suggestions there using the jump, jump check, and the DXDYDZ. 
Okay, bit of a long one. Sorry about that. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.